the Australian solar rebate in 2023. Is it ending? How much is it worth? And how do you claim it? Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, founder of Solar Quotes. Now, despite what you might have heard from shrill ads online, in the paper and on the telly, the famous Australian federal solar rebate isn't ending anytime soon. It's alive, kicking and generous, but it does decline in value every year. Let me explain exactly what the rebate is, how it works and what it's worth. First, technically, the Australian federal solar rebate is officially called the SRES scheme. SRES stands for Small Scale Renewable Energy Scheme. It's a bit of a mouthful. You can see why people prefer to call it the rebate. The nitty gritty of how SRES works is pretty boring. I've put a detailed article linked in the description if you really want to learn about it. But in short, every kilowatt of solar installed in Australia on systems under 100 kilowatts in size generates what are called STC certificates. When you buy a system, you sign these over to your installer who then trades them in for cash. They need to gather a certain amount of STCs to be able to trade them efficiently. So when giving you the discount, they're essentially fronting you the money they will eventually make when they sell your STCs. The current value of STCs means that one kilowatt of solar on your roof attracts around about $400 in rebates. To use an example, a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system will give you about $2,600 in rebates. The gross cost before rebate of a mid-range 6.6 .6 kilowatt system is around $9,000. So once you apply the $2,600 rebate, the final price you pay the installer will be $6,400. The rebate is not a check that you get in the mail. It's a line item discount on your quote that reduces the final price you pay. Any solar system price you see advertised online in the paper and on TV will already have the rebate applied. The STC scheme is designed to be phased out, ending in 2030. So on January the 1st, the value of the rebate dropped by around 9%. But the good news is the falling cost of solar panels and inverters is easily keeping up with the annual rebate reduction. So the price you pay is not really increasing year on year as the rebate reduces. Now, when it comes to eligibility for the rebate, there are a few restrictions on who is eligible for SDCs. But in practice, virtually everyone is eligible. So be wary of anyone offering you a free solar rebate eligibility analysis to get their foot in your door. Now, listen up Victorians, you have a second separate state level rebate that you can claim on top of the federal STC rebate. It's administered by Solar Victoria and at the time of filming is worth $1,400. This rebate, unlike the federal one, is a little more restrictive. To be eligible, your household income can't be too high and you can't already have solar on your roof. So going back to the rest of Australia, don't let anyone rush you into buying solar, claiming you'll lose out on the rebates. The only reason to get solar sooner rather than later is to stop paying those massive electricity bills. That should be incentive enough. If you're considering solar and don't know who to trust, my website, solarquotes.com.au, makes it really easy to get up to three free quotes from installers that I've personally pre-vetted and trust. Just visit solarquotes.com.au, pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there.